Recipients of the National Flood Insurance Program can rest easy at least for a few months. Lawmakers on Capitol Hill sealed four-month long extension, keeping the initiative intact through November. Now, the measure passed both chambers of Congress by large margins. But as Capitol correspondent Harrison Golden tells us, recipients in Louisiana still face plenty of uncertainty. As the U.S. Senate stared down a midnight deadline on the National Flood Insurance Program. This was a small victory and it could be a temporary victory. Senator John Kennedy joined 85 other senators Tuesday voting to keep the program afloat through November 30th. The seventh short-term extension for the NFIP will grant a four-month bridge for policyholders to renew their coverage. A lapse does disrupt real estate transactions for the 2,600 Americans trying to close on their home perhaps their first home over the next couple days. Both Louisiana senators backed the extension, led in the lower chamber by House Majority Whip and Jefferson native Steve Scalise. Louisiana in particular has leaned on the program heavily following numerous floods and hurricanes over the years. The state currently has some 500,000 NFIP policyholders, second only to Texas and Florida. Therefore, I urge my colleagues to expedite consideration of the National Flood Insurance Program four-month extension and pass it by unanimous consent. But the support that followed Tuesday was not unanimous. Critics and even some who voted for the extension say reforms are long overdue. The program has run deficits dating back to Hurricane Katrina in 2005. Opponents say it encourages people to remain in flood prone areas only to come face to face with more damage. I have a, a lot of sympathy uh, and in many cases agree with a lot of the points made by those in opposition. I'm not happy with crappy either, but I don't want there to be at any point a gap in, co in uh, coverage. Proposed long-term changes to the program have remained largely stagnant this year. Congress's new deadline for steering the NFIP coincides with the so-called lame duck session. That block between the midterm elections and the new arrivals on Capitol Hill. For your local election headquarters, I'm Harrison Golden. The extension also has the support of President Donald Trump, who signed the short-term renewal last week. I was able to speak with Senator Bill Cassidy by phone the day after he secured that vote. Here's what he had to say from his Washington office. Hey, Fred, how are you, man? Hey, Senator, I'm great. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Congratulations. Yeah, it's, it's, good. The, it's good. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess we can, um, I know we don't have a whole lot of time, uh, we can fast forward. We know the bill has passed, um, and just real quick, what, um, without getting too far into the weeds, how were you able to get this passed? Did you attach it to another bill? No, it was, this, it was a bill by itself. It had come over from the House. Steve Scalise did a great job of setting it up. There were folks on our side who objected to the bill. I went to them, called them, saying, listen, this is only a reauthorization. It's a current law. We carry it forward for four months. That gives us chance a chance to work on reforms. They want reform, so do I. I just had to explain that this wasn't putting in current law forever. It's just allowing us more time to work, and they signed off. It was a good, it was a good project. How encouraged are you to see the, it was an 86 to 12 vote, 86 4, 12 against. Um, seems like a pretty good bi bipartisan effort. A really good bipartisan effort. Obviously, we're trying to set up another bill which would have reforms that would make the flood insurance program more affordable, more sustainable, and more accountable to the taxpayer, uh, more affordable to the homeowner. So if we can get that sort of vote on our reform package, I think we can accomplish our goal ultimately of having a long-term reauthorization but with things that make it more affordable. Right. And, and what are the, um, what, what's going to happen now that the extension is in place? How, how does this benefit uh, families? The Senate needs to, well first, the benefit of the extension is that if you were uh, closing your house or renewing your flood insurance today or tomorrow, the bill is still, you still can. That would have been interrupted. It's not interrupted now. That's a good thing. Secondly, it removes any uncertainty. We know that we'll have a flood insurance program as we head into the peak hurricane season. And then longer term, again, that vote you mentioned, 
signals that the Senate is interested in the flood insurance program, and I hope that creates momentum to consider a broader bill, and that's, a, that's what will really benefit the homeowner by, again, making those premiums uh, less expensive. Does the bill that passed, that is, does it also address the, I guess, what could be described as bad timing for it um, uh, um, no longer being in effect? Oh, yeah, totally. Uh, this extension goes for the next four months. That brings our country through hurricane season. I think that's one thing people realized. It wasn't Louisiana last year. We were the year before. Last year, it was Texas and Florida and Puerto Rico. So folks understand the importance of the program. Uh, they understand the importance of reform, but they understand the importance of the program, and that's why we got that big vote. But again, we had to first, I had to first call folks who were opposed to allow the vote to go forward. And this has been signed off on? But yeah, the president will sign this into law. Uh, he's probably signed it into law last night. I didn't follow the news. But we now have a flood insurance program today, and that's what was in doubt.